Hi, everyone. I'm Rich Scheibner. And I'm Liz Chamberlain. We're co-editors of Inventio. We're serious about the how of digital media scholarship. In Inventio, authors interrogate how their digital scholarship came to be. And as Inventio editors, we invite you to participate in this series. Reach out to us anytime at the Kairos email listed below. We also plan to reach out to more authors as the series continues. Until then, thanks for watching. I initially, I, I wrote the first draft as part of a class assignment. So I was taking a course in composition theory um, as part of my graduate work. And, you know, Kairos has that call for reviews, call for book reviews section on its website. So I thought, hey, you know, maybe there's a chance I, I could put something together that they might be interested in, in down the line. So I used that list to find something that I could, uh, that I could write about. I tried to be a little strategic in my choice. I chose one of the books that was very short, um, just so that you know I um, could sort of read, read through it quickly and, and sort of write up a write up a review for my class. But yeah, so you know, it, it started as a pretty traditional, just uh, you know, text based review, and so a lot of the the research. Um, and prep that I had to do for this web text involved basically learning the uh, you know HTML and, and CSS uh, programming languages and and sort of figuring out how to do that because I'd, I'd never done that before. So it was you know kind of a matter of of seeking out resources online and and other other people as well who could uh, sort of walk me through and, and get me started with that. So yeah, that's kind of uh, how I started. I suppose one thing is that you know you you kind of expect that you like you're you're most trying to tell like like to give readers a sense of whether or not you know the thing you're reviewing is something that they want to go look at themselves. So I you know I wanted to be I guess yeah just more intentional about picking out the the main ideas from the text and saying more about you know who specifically uh, might find the text useful and, and in what ways. Just trying to focus more on that than maybe I would in other types of writing. You know, at the same time, I think, uh, you know, people look for summaries of the text, but also sometimes they go to a, re a review for, to see, you know, sort of an author using the text that they're reviewing to make some sort of argument uh, as well. Um, and so I didn't want it to just be kind of saying, here's what the text is about, but I also wanted to try to have it, have it be sort of my own you know, here's my own kind of analysis or uh, argument related, you know, about sort of similar themes or similar topics. I worked a lot in the library on campus just because they have some uh, computer spaces where they have multiple big monitors, uh, which makes it, you know, really uh, made it a lot easier since I was going back and forth and kept, you know, I make adjustments in the code and then I wanted to see how, you know, how it was going to affect the final thing. And for me, it's, it's always evolving, you know, I'm always kind of learning new things. And, you know, one thing that I have tried to get better at over the years is getting um, feedback from, you know, at least two or three other people. So in this case, I did, you know, I sent it to uh, a few other uh, professors here and and they all had sort of different things, you know, helpful things to say about it, as well as the editors, the Kairos Book Review editors. So that's something that I, I've been trying to do more consistently. And I think the, in this case, the book review really benefited a lot from um, different perspectives and, you know, they could let me know what's clear, what's not clear, um, do I need more examples of things? Yeah, I think so. I think, again, the, the book that I chose, you know, I, I deliberately chose a short one just because I had other readings and stuff for the class on top of that. So, 
you know, maybe if I wasn't in a class, I'd be, you know, have more time to uh, review a longer text. And also I knew my professor had kind of a background in like political rhetoric. And so that also kind of shaped my, my choice of the text in that, in that case, because I knew that, you know, he, he might be able to have some expertise that he could bring, uh, bring to bear on, on that. Most of the, the work that I did after, after writing it, like a lot of the design stuff and the multimodal uh, elements and things like that, those were all, um, those were all added after, after the class. And I really did have to have a lot more time than just a semester um, to, to work on, on some of that stuff too. Yeah, it, is, it is helpful to not be bound by sort of the, the time constraints of, of the class format when uh, composing some of this stuff, for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, one of my professors, Tom Miller, gave me some great advice recently. He said that, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that when when I'm writing something for a class, you know, my that the professor is really being paid to to read my stuff. Um, whereas when you're writing for people other than your professor, um, you know, you really have to do things a little bit differently just to kind of get their attention and to hold their attention. You know, there, there's nothing that's sort of making them read what I write. And so I have to be, I think, more, to try to think more about, okay, how am I gonna make this worth their while? Um, do more things like, you know, forecasting or previewing what I'm gonna talk about, just so they kind of have a sense of whether or not this is something that they wanna spend their time with. It is something I have to be more thoughtful about. And, and sort of adjust, yeah, adjust my, my writing with that in mind.